Hi, it's DeWire, GamblersAdvisory.com, DeWireVIP.com, on Roku, in the sports section, DeWire Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me say this. Um, my love with regard to boxing is for the sport of boxing. I know people from time to time try to claim I'm in a fighter's back pocket or I'm in a promoter's back pocket or I'm in a manager's back pocket. Uh, really, I'm in the back pocket of the sport. right? I want young kids to see great fights like I got the opportunity to see great fights when I was a kid. Right? Let me just tell you, I was sitting in my living room on the sofa watching Muhammad Ali lose his title, Leon Spence. Right? People who were around in the 70s understand that while there were pay-per-view fights back then, many of the big fights were actually on television. Right? We saw Ken Norton fight Ernie Shavers. That was on TV. Right? I knew who the heavyweight champion was when Larry Holmes was king because Larry Holmes was on TV for most of his fights. Sure, the Holmes-Ali fight was pay-per-view. But Larry Holmes fought many guys. I remember the Ronaldo Snipes fight. I remember there was a moment of silence. You couldn't hear anything in my household when Holmes hit the canvas in that fight. These were heavyweight title fights. One of history's best champions look up the Larry Holmes record right well boxing has gone away from that model where the paychecks were actually paid by advertisers sponsors you actually had an ad that ran back in the day with Sugar Ray Leonard and Larry Holmes in the ad they're selling trucks they actually went chest to chest right my mother saw that ad and she was laughing she knew who Ray Leonard was she knew who Larry Holmes was right because they were on TV now think about how ridiculous boxing is today you have great boxers who can't get their faces on the side of milk cartons right it's ridiculous fans don't even know who the champions are great fighters could walk down the street boxing hardcore fans would be drooling Unless the fighter's name is Canelo or Manny Pacquiao, hardly anyone knows who he is. Right? I wonder how many casual fans know that Bermain Stavern has a share of the heavyweight title. So, enter Al Heyman. Right? Now, believe me when I say I have absolutely no ties to Al Heyman. But I view this as a positive development. He apparently has a deal with NBC Sports where NBC Sports is actually charging him, if you can believe this, to make available a lot of dates, right, for fights. In other words, for 24 fight dates, according to reports, right, Al Heyman is paying something like $20 million. This is a game changer. I believe it's a step in the right direction. We need to get guys like Keith Thurman from being word of mouth secrets among the boxing hardcore <coughs> onto the main stage. Think about how ridiculous it would be if the Super Bowl were pay-per-view, if the NBA Finals were pay-per-view, if the World Series was pay-per-view. Just imagine if the only people who knew about Mike Trout were baseball fans. Well, that's how ridiculous it is in boxing. I think many of these fighters, including well-known champs, could walk down the street and would be virtually anonymous. Right? I really do wonder, even if a well-known champion like Carl Frotch were to walk down the street in Las Vegas, whether he would stop traffic it's questionable right I know Floyd Mayweather is an entrepreneur doing a lot of things but let's just say I haven't seen him with the level of endorsements that were just second nature for Ray Leonard back in the day 
right? I remember Ali even selling roach spray, for those of you who remember way back in the 70s, right? You had boxers selling household items. Think about how ridiculous it would be right now to see Vladimir Klitschko selling roach spray or household cleaner and stuff like that. You just don't see it, right? I don't see Vladimir Klitschko selling trucks like I saw Larry Holmes selling trucks. <coughs> so, I believe we need to move the model away from charging consumers $59.99 for big time fights, right? Let's have the bill paid not by, you know, Joe Boxing fan who's trying to put a kid through college, who's trying to pay a mortgage, right? Who's trying to pay the rent, who's trying to put food on the table. Let's instead move the bill to corporate sponsors, Anheuser-Busch, whoever, right? And let's make boxing kind of like we have professional football here in the United States, where you know, you know, it's Monday night football, right? You know, Sunday night football. Let's have boxing where you know, Friday night fights, Saturday fights. And when I say fights, I'm not talking about fights between contenders or unknowns. Let's have it so you turn on the TV and it's Keith Thurman against Amir Khan. You have your popcorn ready. You know it's a big event. You know this fight has title implications. Right? Put a thought in the head of Bob Arrow. Manny Pacquiao's promoter, or Oscar De La Hoya, right, Canelo's promoter, that, hey, maybe I want my guy on network TV, because maybe there's some fans out there who haven't had the money to watch him on pay-per-view. Maybe a guy like Canelo is going to bring in a lot more fans if people actually have an opportunity to see him for free. Keep in mind, when I say for free, Canelo's getting paid, right? I mean, the expectation should be, if you're gonna have Canelo on TV, just like football players here in the United States are paid, certainly football players in Europe are paid when they're on TV, boxers will be paid, right? But what you're gonna have now, let's hope, is the emergence, in fact I should say re-emergence, of boxing on television at a high level. Right? Al Heyman is a consummate boxing insider. Right? He's the manager of Floyd Mayweather. He has access to many of the big name champions in the sport. Right? Now, if he can serve as a bridge between the sport and corporate sponsors, so you can actually see, right? A Johan Hernandez. I know many people are saying, who? He's probably the dominant cruiserweight champion right now. You can see a Johan Hernandez not only fight, but you can see him, let's say, in a Nike commercial. Right? Maybe they'll even sell, you know, t-shirts and stuff like that. How come these other sports actually have folks wearing jerseys and stuff like that, but yet boxing's not even clever enough to, you know, sell us gear in a real way. I understand the money team has gear and stuff like that, but boxing doesn't have its equivalent of a jersey. Right? These guys enter the ring. These guys could market themselves much better. Let me also say this too. As John F. Kennedy said years ago, former President of the United States, he said a rising tide lifts all boats. Understand once boxing blows up on TV, and boxing used to be the top sport on TV years ago before the Benny Kid Parrot fight, Emil Griffin, Right? Famous moment. I'll let you research that. Boxing used to be top dog. 
right? Just understand that if boxing explodes here because of this Al Heyman deal, then that explosion is going to be for the benefit of the entire sport, right? If you energize fans and introduce them to the concept of championship fights on free TV, fights on the level of Leon Spinks Ali, which was on free TV, right? If you introduce fans to the concept and they like it, then it's every man for himself. What's to stop Carl Frotch from saying, hey, put me on TV, rather than limit myself to a pay-per-view crowd or a cable crowd, <coughs> put me on sports channels. The economics, at least the potential, are there. Just look at the numbers for these regional sports channels here in the United States for Major League Baseball and basketball teams. Right? The economics is there. I'm going to applaud Al Heyman for trying to make it work here. I'm rooting for him. Because the situation is so preposterous that I have to tell you, you know, I've looked at many fights and I thought to myself, do they really want me to pay $59.99 for that fight? You know, sometimes you look at a fight and you're like, hey, this is an interesting fight until you find out you have to pay $49.99 for that fight. You know, I don't mind an early knockout if the fight's free. <coughs> then I'll say, hey, great. I don't mind a card of early knockouts if the fight's free. But wow, if I'm paying $59.99 and I can't even get 45 minutes worth of entertainment from the event... Wow, I mean, how can I justify that to my girl, right? When I've passed on putting food on the table or passed on a night out on the town to pay for a fight that ended in about 10 minutes, right? So I'd like to see boxing back on TV. I'd like to see more corporate sponsors involved in the sport. I think the best advertisement for the sport is the sport at the highest level, right? You know, put high-level fights on TV. I believe the sport is exciting enough to sell itself, right? And boxers today are much more business-like than they were in the 70s, right? I believe fighters today understand that there's something called the Internet. People have cell phones. Statements get repeated right your image matters so now you have a lot of boxers with their own promotional corporations right very conscientious of their images they have their own Twitter accounts and stuff like that I think that plays in well with broader network TV exposure for the sport and with connecting with sponsors so let's cross our fingers there was a time where boxing was more popular than the NFL in the United States on television. <coughs> if we could get back for that, if we could get back to that, just imagine how much money would be in the sport for everyone. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. I encourage everyone to Google Al Heyman Google NBC Sports. For those who don't know, NBC Sports is an up-and-coming station that's trying to be a ESPN type of outlet, right? NBC is obviously a huge network, very interested in content. I view this as a major opportunity. Let me say, too, the $20 million that Al Heyman is paying sounds cheap to me when you're talking about elite fights, right? You've heard me say there's no money in boxing, but wow, if $20 million is going to bring you network exposure for 24 fight dates, that sounds like a super deal to me. Super.
right? Especially if you can build the brand by having some big fights early that create word of mouth. Let's hope this works. Let's hope this rising tide lifts all boats. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.